Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing somewhat of a tutorial. The way they now work on updates is different. We have actually got some 1.20 features as a experimental data pack inside of 1.19.3. And today, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually activate them features inside of an old world. So the features being hanging signs, bamboo, also camels, and chisel bookshelves, and also pigling heads. There is one thing to note. This old world has to be in 1.19.3 due to older versions before 1.19.3 don't actually support the new data packs. But you can obviously, what I mean by old worlds is a world you have made before 1.19.3 that you have updated to this version. At first it may be or may seem a bit confusing, but once you know how to do it, it is really simple. So let's now jump straight to it. Before I do, if you do enjoy this video and find it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. We are so close to 2000 and I would love to reach it before the end of this year. So we are actually going to be enabling the actual 1.20 features on my Let's play this is a series i've had on the channel since 119 released so this is the actual world we're going to be enabling the actual 120 features on so as you can see we are now within the actual world the first thing you're actually going to want to do is get the seed for the world you can do that by typing slash seed and there we go there is the seed for this world so i want to copy that which you can do just by clicking on it now you have your seed you're going to want to actually make a new world using that exact seed so let's quickly create a new world you would want to name this whatever your old world was named you can change the name it can be totally different so i'm just going to call it 1.20 uh, let's play then you want to actually have all the settings how you want it so survival you can have it creative it don't matter this can be anything same with cheats same with the game rules these can be whatever you want they don't have to be a certain thing Difficulty can be whatever. World options, you want to make sure you paste in your seed right there. And once again, any of these can be what you want either. Then you actually want to click done because you actually need to go to data pack section and you need to enable whatever you want. If you want the bundle, then you need to enable the bundle. If you want 120 features, then you need to enable that. Now, if you don't enable these here inside of the data packs, then they won't be active. So make sure you actually enable these two or just the one you want. You will be given this prompt, which you can just proceed. That's just telling you that you're enabling things that are still a work in progress and they might not be 100% bug free. So now we have actually done that. Just make sure they are enabled. As you can see, they are in selected. So now upon actually creating this world, I'm going to create it in creative mode just so obviously I know. Upon creating this world, it should be the exact same seed as the old world, but with the actual ability of 120 features. We're now within the world, and if you guys know that when I started the series, I did spawn next to this outpost because there are LAs inside of that one right there. So we now have the exact same seed with the actual 120 features enabled. If I quickly go here, you will see there is the bamboo. But we don't have anything on us. We don't have our inventory, nor do we have the actual builds we built. As you can see, that right there is where the actual warden head is. And over there is where the sniffer is built. But nothing's here. So now let's actually get everything into this world. I'm now inside of the Minecraft files. You can actually access these. I'll have it pinned on the top of the screen. But you can actually do it by clicking Windows and then R. And then typing in percentage update percentage and then clicking on the dot minecraft folder but this is how you actually access minecraft you now want to find your world saves so in this case we're going to go into saves and then now out of every single world we have here we want to find the world that we just created with the 120 features in it so here it is it's called 120 let's play so if we open that we now have all the actual files right here same this side we want to open the old one the one with no 120 features which i think is called uh, 119 what is it actually called there it is minecraft wild update let's play so we want to then open that one so this one right here is the one with features enabled this one right here is the old world now all you want to do is basically convert all of these over to this file so let's start off just by deleting the advancements tab and then we can literally just copy and paste that over here we're not going to drag them over because then it will actually remove them from this side which we don't want to do just in case we do ever need to access this world again so you are just going to want to delete them 
and then copy and paste them over to this side. Now, one thing I am just going to quickly mention, do not delete the data packs folder. For this, if you have data packs on your world, you are just going to want to drag over them and then push them over or once again copy and paste them over you do not want to delete this data packs folder because i noticed sometimes if you delete it then the actual data packs won't be enabled on this world which is not what you want so make sure you don't actually delete it on the 120 features world so we're now just basically dragging or copy and pasting every single file because the certain things like dim one and dim minus one, this is the regions for the overworld and the or the never and the end. So if you don't drag these over, then they won't actually convert, which you do want. Uh, it's saying that there's 20 files with the same name. Uh, let's quickly just replace them. Same with that one right there. Let's replace them. As you can see, I've dragged over all of the files. And if I now open these, they will have the data in them exactly the same as this one over here. But it won't actually mean anything. One thing you don't want to drag over is these three bottom things. The session lock, the level, and the level. You do not want to drag them over. You want to keep them as what they are on this side. Because this is basically what tells the game the sort of like game rules and all stuff like that icon once again that's just the icon for the world so you can change that and drag that over if you have made one if not then leave that the same so now we have actually done that if we now actually click here and we click on to this world right here we don't want to load up this world this is the 119 free version with no 120 features this one right here is 119 free with 120 features so if I now open up this world, you should notice that we have everything in the world that we did in the other world. As you can see, the world has now got everything in it that it should have. One thing, the your inventory doesn't actually get carried over. I would say put all your items inside of a chest before you do this. If you have levels on you, then sadly they will be lost. But for the actual items like your armor, your tools, just place a chest down somewhere and then put all your items inside of that chest and then you'll be able to access them in the new world without actually having your inventory. Right, if I just fly around a little bit, you will notice that everything is how I had it. I've got my big farming area over here if i also do go into the never the never will be exactly the same so let's quickly just fly into it as you can see my shulker farm is within the never and somewhere in that direction should be my actual frog light farm so everything has transferred over apart from the inventory but i will come up with a fix for that in just a second now i can quickly show you as you can see right here we have the bamboo blocks inside of this old world we do also have the hanging signs if i quickly just get them as you can see right there we do also have the pigling head, as you can see right there. And finally, the chiseled bookshelf. So now we actually have the world with 1.20 features. That's everything you really need to do. But if you don't want to put items in a chest or you're doing this on a server and you don't want to obviously tell everyone to put items in a chest, I'm now going to talk about how to actually bring inventories over. Now, this is a bit more complicated than just dragging worlds over because you actually need to do a few things and it isn't as simple as just dragging and deleting files because part of it is in that level data folder that you can't change because that's where it actually tells the game that the data packs are enabled. At least I, that's how I think it works. I'm not 100% sure how the game tells the world that the 120 features are enabled or not. I think it's in them levels because I've changed them before and then 120 features got disabled. But let's now jump to it. So you're going to want to obviously find your Minecraft world again, which in this case, we are going to go to saves and we're going to go to the actual 120 let's play, which now I'm actually using something called NBT Explorer. I'll have this linked in the description. It's basically a thing that can open up a load of actual worlds. As you can see, I've got every single Minecraft world I have right here. So just like I have here, we're going to open up 120 let's play, which I can do by clicking that. We're then going to open up player data. And as you can see, these right here is me. 
the actual game does it off UUID and these are, this is my UUID. So we want to then open up this. As you can see, here is everything that it has installed in it. You can see that it has my recipe book stored. It has Warden Spawn Tracker. You actually want to find Inventory, which as you can see is right here. And you actually want to delete this. You can actually delete things by clicking on them and then clicking up here. So once you have deleted the actual Inventory tag, you then want to basically drag and drop the other Inventory from the other world into this. So let's quickly open up another instance of nbt explorer as you can see i now have two instances this instance is going to have the actual other world in it so once again we need to go to player data and as you can see here is my player data again so this is inside of the dot dat one so as you can see inventory 37 entries i now need to actually copy this so you can actually copy by clicking on what you want to copy and then Control c now we want to click on this file right here and then click paste up there as you can see inventory now has 37 entries just like this one over here then we want to do that again with the dat underscore old so let's quickly just do that so there's a the dat underscore old and there is the dat underscore old then we want to actually get the inventory right here once again copy that delete this one right here and then making sure we click on this and then paste and as you can see once again the inventory is right there now that's not everything because that just does it for me if you had multiple people on the world you would have to do this for every single player just using their uuid we now want to go to level underscore dat and then go to data same thing over on this side level dot dat underscore data and once again there should be something in here called inventory underneath player which as you can see player right there if we we open that up you can see once again inventory is here again so we're going to once again have to delete that one and drag it from over here so player then we want to actually find the inventory which as you can see is right there if we copy that and then once again paste it right there it's now there and then finally we need to do it for level dot dat underscore one last time go to data and then players and then once again data then players and once again you can see the inventory right here delete that and then inventory right here copy that and paste it over here now that's done one quick thing before we actually load up the world make sure you go up here and click save if you do not save it then it won't actually update the files so on the world that you've changed in this case 1.20 let's play go and click file and then make sure you save it otherwise you will load up the world with no changes you'll have no inventory on you so now we've saved it, let's quickly go and see if it's worked. As you can see, we are now inside of the world with absolutely everything. We've still got the warden head, we've got the patch right there, we've got the sniffer and everything in that direction. But we now also do have our inventory. As you can see, we have the armor with the enchants, we have the blocks and items we had on us, and we still do have 120 features inside of an old 119.3 world. Now that is everything. If you have any questions or you need help with anything, then the best place to do so is join my Discord, as I'm sure I will try and help the best I possibly can. If you found this video useful, then do leave a like and subscribe, as it does really help out. And the reason I actually made this tutorial is because I actually wanted the 119 features or 120 features inside of this world. But I didn't actually want to make a whole new world, which is what you have to actually do if you don't use this. Which is kind of a cheaty way, because you're actually just converting data over from one world to the other. But we can now actually, inside this world that I've had for, I think, like, four or five months, I can now actually build with bamboo, as you can see right here. We can now also build with chiseled bookshelves, which we should have somewhere, yep, as you can see. Piggling heads and also mob sounds on note blocks is enabled. And finally, the actual crafting recipes for everything should also be enabled. As you can see, bamboo planks right there. But anyway, that is where I want to end. Once again, if you do need help or get stuck with anything, best place to do so is in my Discord. It is linked in the description. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.